Hey, what's up? I hope you're doing great. My name is Daniel Carrion, and today we will talk about a very fun topic, the area of figures. The area of a figure is the amount of surface it occupies. In other words, the area is the space that a figure occupies. To measure the area of a figure, choose a community square and count how many squares the figure occupies. As in this example, imagine that I have this rectangle and I am going to see how many one centimeter squares per side will fit. And done. It can fit eight. This means that the area of this rectangle is eight centimeters squared. Let's see an example. Here I have a triangle. Its base is five centimeters and its height is eight centimeters. The formula to calculate the area of a triangle is area is equal to base times height over two. We are going to substitute data. This means that instead of the letters, I'm going to put their value. Area is equal to the base, which is five centimeters times the height, which is eight centimeters over two. When performing the operations, it gives us that area is equal to five times eight is 40 by two is 20 centimeters squared. This means that our triangle can fit 20 squares of one centimeter per side. Very easy, right? Let's see another example. Here I have a rectangle with measures of five base and eight height. The formula to calculate the area of a rectangle is base times height. We are going to substitute data. Area is equal to five centimeters from the base times eight centimeters high. Therefore, I have that area equals, and five times eight gives me 40 centimeters squared as a result. This means that our rectangle can fit 40 squares of one centimeter per side. Very easy, right? Let's see another example. Here I have a square with measurements of four times four. The formula to calculate the area of the square is area is equal to side times side. When substituting data, I have that area is equal to four centimeters times four centimeters. In the end, I have that area is equal. And four times four is equal to 16 centimeters squared. This means that our square can fit 16 squares of one centimeter per side. Very easy, right? Let's see another example. Here I have a pentagon that measures seven centimeters per side and also has an apothem of five centimeters. The formula to calculate the area of the pentagon is area is equal to perimeter times apothem over two. The first thing we have to do is find the perimeter of the pentagon. The formula to find the perimeter is Perimeter is equal to side times five. When substituting data, I have that perimeter is equal to seven centimeters of each side by five sides. When multiplying, I have that the perimeter is equal to seven times five. This gives me 35 centimeters. Now, if I am going to substitute the formula, area is equal to 35 centimeters, which is the perimeter, times 5 centimeters, which is the apothem, over 2. The area is equal. And 35 times 5 gives us 175. Divided by 2, it gives us 87.5 centimeters squared. This means that in our pentagon can fit 87 and a half squares of 1 centimeter per side. Very easy, right? Now, we're going to see our last example. Here I have an hexagon that measures five per side and 4.33 centimeters of apothem. The formula to calculate the area of an hexagon is area is equal to perimeter times apothem between two. First, we have to calculate the perimeter. The perimeter is calculated like this. Perimeter is equal to side times six because they are six sides of the hexagon. The perimeter is equal to five centimeters on each side times six sides. 
When doing the multiplication, we have that the perimeter is equal to 5 times 6 is equal to 30 centimeters. Now, we're going to replace data. Area is equal to 30 centimeters off the perimeter times 4.33 centimeters off the apothem over 2. Therefore, I have that area is equal and multiplying 30 times 4.33 gives me 129.9 as a result. And when dividing it by two, it gives me 64.95 centimeters squared as a result. This means that our hexagon can fit 64.95 squares of one centimeter per side. Very easy, right? Now, I am going to leave some exercises for you to solve. I hope to see your answers in the comments. I really hope you like this video. Please hit the like button, comment, share and subscribe to be able to keep watching my videos. See you next time. Bye bye.